Hold on. Tell, show. tell me about those tattoos. Uh, I, I went to Sailor Don in Newport, Rhode Island, and he freehanded this one on my arm. And then... Wait, what does it say? It's, it's a rose with mother written under it. How much you pay for that? Five dollars. What this year? One, what year? Fifty-seven. <laughs> That's awesome. But on this one, I was going back to the ship at night. Ship? What do you mean, ship? The ship I was stationed on. He was in the navy. Yeah, I was in the navy, and uh, I walked by Sailor Don's and I slowed up and I, I. I said, I got one dollar in my pocket. I wonder what I could get for a dollar. So I went in there and, <laughs> and asked him, what can I get for a dollar? He said, your name? And he said, it, that depends on how many letters is in it. <laughs> and I said, well, I'll tell you what, just put Herbie on there. And uh, he freehanded that. How do you spell it? H-E-R-B-Y. <laughs> and what's your name? Herbert Paul Lindsay <laughs> in the flesh. And when did you get the Herbie? Same year. Same same year in the yeah. Navy, huh? Yeah. It was a, probably a month later. This one here was just healing up good. And in fact, it was against regulations to get a tattoo. In the Navy? Yeah, but they didn't say nothing about it, you know. But you had to keep it clean, wash it with soap and water every day and keep it covered. And tell me about the time you slept on a motor. Oh, that was that, uh, that LCBP, Landing Craft Vehicle Personnel Boats. And a uh, vessel they call them, they don't call them boats. <laughs> and it was cold. Where were you at? Newport, Rhode Island. Mm. And well, it was, I was, it was Newport, Rhode Island, but it was, Goat Island, where I was stationed, that's what they called it. And that was out in, off, right off, out in the bay, in Narragansett Bay. And and the, the, the water would have had about, it was about that thick, the ice on the top of it, mm. salt water. What time of year? September. And going down the, going down the bay, going down to the main side down there. And I was sleepy. I'd been up all night. Wait, and what was your job? Driving that boat. Going, picking up supplies at Mainside and taking them out to the ships and, you know. Out to the big ships like a, like a aircraft carriers or? No, not them. No, there wasn't none of them around there. It was like uh, destroyers and... Uh, Destroyer radars and battleships, you know. A battleship like the game. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my boy, I was so sleepy, worn out. I, I was, I was beat. So I had a bow hook and a stern hook and an engineer. Those you know, are people, I guess. Yeah, it was, and I was the, <laughs> the captain of the boat. So. Uh, and how old were you? You were like seventeen. 17, yeah. Yeah. That was 1957. Seven, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, was, I, I, I had to sleep out my eyes. I couldn't hardly hold them open. I was about to fall asleep driving the boat. And I said, I don't know what I'll do. So I got to what they call the engineer. And I called him in there and I said, hey, I need to get you to take over this, this steering wheel here because I, I, I got to go to sleep. And he said, where are you going to sleep at? I said, I'm going down in the engine room and I'm on, somewhere I'm going to sleep in there because it was warm in there, you know. <laughs> and they had two diesel motors in it, just like sitting just like that with a walkway between them. And I... Like, is this a, like a P-boat or... Like, what... what is, like, what kind of boat is this? A ship? Well, it was, it was a, an LCBP, a landing craft vehicle personnel. Like a, like a, like a, a battleship? Like no, guns they, on it? You've seen these shows where these boats run up on the beach and the front falls down okay. and men run out of it? Yeah. Or they drive jeeps and stuff out of it? That's what it was. 
So it's not it's not a, like a like a, a Normandy where they fall out in the gut. I mean, like a small boat. It's a big boat. Well, I mean, it's got a place down below where you go, right? No. Well, you said you went down to the motor. In where the, the engine room. Yeah. The engine room was... Well, I'm standing up here on top of the engine room down underneath. All right. And it got a, a little door that you can go down through to get down in there. All right. And the two engines, one on the right, one on the left. And you had two controls up there for both engines, you know. But anyway... I went down that engine room. And I fell to the top of that motor, <laughs> and it, hell, it wasn't. It was just warm. It wasn't hot. And of course, I had on them that heavy coat and everything, and heavy pants. And I, I was so sleepy, I just crawled up on top of that motor and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoyed it too. Oh man! But you can sleep anywhere if you sleep enough. But it didn't get hot. That's true. Yeah. No. It was just, it was freezing out there. You don't have no heaters in them boats. And what's the boat called again? An LCVP. LCVP. Landing Craft Vehicle Personnel. Hmm. Yeah, that was my, my better days in the Navy. <laughs> I liked that. Hmm. I'd have stayed there if I could have stayed there till I got out, but they won't let you do that. Yep. A lot of fun. I had a lot of fun there. Well, I'm proud of you, Pops. Thank you, Don. And leave Gerald here.